Hey guys, time for another episode of Day in the Life of Vintage Classic Specialist. So happy Friday to everyone. Um, let's go ahead and talk about what happened around here today. So today I started the day off removing melted stuff from this car. So um, those of you that follow the channel know that this car had an engine fire and the, uh, the sound deadener and stuff back here was pretty bad. Um, the... The forward one here wasn't too bad. The one on this side was okay. Uh, this side was pretty much completely melted. So the whole sort of tar board, sound board was basically like a big melted glob down here that kind of like oozed onto the engine. Um, it was pretty gross and it actually took some effort to get it out because it was basically just a big melted blob of tar. Uh, anyway, got that out and we're gonna rewire this car, so I just went ahead and you know chopped wires to make my life easy, uh, since that's all gonna get replaced. So did that and um, got the tail lights all disconnected. Uh, Jacob came in at some point and he helped out. He had him go ahead and remove the the tail lights and the bulb holders and so on. And then uh, from there he went and continued to strip the motor down. So we got it pretty much down to a long block. Um, and then what we did was we taped off all the holes on it and we went ahead and pressure washed it. And uh, it's coming out pretty good actually. Um, I think the plan is since this motor has been painted at some point, it's kind of got paint on it, but kind of doesn't. We're gonna clean it up even better degrease it a little bit better, and then we're gonna go ahead and, um, and paint the engine case. So at least it's a nice uniform color. We'll paint it kind of silver. Um, in the end, it'll basically end up looking like either of those motors there, which are actually vapor honed, and they get that nice silver look. Um, so it'll pretty much look like that. Um, but anyway, so yeah, this is coming out pretty good. And then we will probably pretty soon go ahead and send off all the tinware and so on to powder coating and start buying um, the things that we're replacing. I mentioned the carburetor, alternator, you know, new, basically new ignition system. We'll use the distributor, but we'll pretty much replace the rest of the ignition system. And yeah, before you know it, this will look like a really nice motor. I think the, the owner is going to uh, chip in some and basically put, uh, we're going to put some uh, little dual carburetors on here, little dual single barrels, and then also a little, uh, like a little merged header exhaust. Um, it's type that I really like, my neighbor Dave, uh, who I mentioned before. Hi Dave, if you're watching. Um, he's got it on his car. It's what I recommended to him. He's got a 66 Beetle with a little uh, 16, 1679 CC or something like that. Little, little big bore piston kit on us on a, uh, making a little bit bigger than a 1600. Anyway, he runs out exhaust on his and it sounds great. It's got a little, uh, a little merge on it. And then it basically merges into like a, a log style muffler. And then from there, it's got a couple of, uh, kind of large bore pea shooters coming out. So you get kind of the stock look with pea shooters, uh, but they're a bit bigger in diameter. And then you get the performance of like a little mild merged header and uh, sounds really, really good. Looks good. So I think we're gonna go ahead and put one of those on here and then yeah, a little dual carb. So some upgrades uh, while we're at it here. So, you know, squeeze a few more ponies out of this thing. Might as well while it's out. So, that is pretty much what happened on this car today. Um, so other than that, I worked a bit on the Cowlick car. Not a whole lot, but just trying to keep this car moving forward here. So went ahead and installed the, the CV axles today. Um, got them on. I went ahead and bought complete axles. It just economically makes more sense to buy complete assemblies than to have me go and remove the old CVs and put on new ones and new boots and then grease them. It just, it doesn't make any sense at all. So I went ahead and put on whole new assemblies. I got, went ahead and got new hardware. Everything's new, you know, no, not really wasting time cleaning bolts and stuff like that. Again, economically, it just, it just doesn't really make any sense. 
um, especially on a car that's not necessarily a restoration but a hot rod. Um, you know, it's okay to have some kind of non-original parts on here. Anyhow, uh, so that happened, and what else? Uh, finally got around to painting his rear drums. I'll be ordering him some tires soon, and then uh, we'll get the, the Fuchs on this thing, and it's going to look incredible. And other only small thing I did is I went ahead and started kind of assembling the steering column here. So installed the, the key switch, the ignition switch there, and the turn signal stock, and then uh, pretty much have all those wires ready to run up uh, into the um, into the front there to wire up. So yeah, not, you know, not the most productive day in the history of the shop, but um, yeah, got a few things done. So that is actually about it for today and for this week, guys. So appreciate you all watching and we will see you guys Monday. Hope everyone has a good weekend. Bye.